Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I look here back at the back fender of this car, and I don't really see how we're going to do this. I know we are going to do it, but right now I don't have fully in my head exactly how we're going to create this curved piece right here from scratch. So since I don't know that, there are a couple of strategies that we can use sometimes for this kind of thing. And I promise you, no matter how experienced you get with Blender, there are going to be things you come up against that you really don't know, at least at first glance, how in the world you're going to create it. But one strategy I like to use is to try and create everything around it first. So that when you finally get to that area, you're not creating it from scratch, from nothing. You're creating it out of, evolving it out of the structures you've already created. So having said that, let's begin working on the back area around the trunk. We'll create the outline of the, of the cab here and then work on this area in the back. So let's um, click here and drag and let's bring in another window. I'm gonna go to image editor here and then click image and open. And let's go into the reference folders, the photos, and there's one right here, this one. Let's open up this one. Yeah, that helps us, I think. So this gives us kind of a front three-quarter view of the back fender and the back view as well. So I think this will help as we get to it. All right, so first of all, let's um, tab into edit mode and take a look at this. And I think what I want to do is actually duplicate the trunk off and put it with the smoothing mesh now. So let's do that. I'm going to come over here and enable the view of the trunk. Let's click on it and let's duplicate this. I'll press Shift D and Enter. And then I'll hide the trunk here. Now let's take this and this and join them together. They both have a mirror and a subdivision surface modifier on them, so that's good. So I will then select the trunk 001, shift select the smoothing object, and to join them, I'll press Control J. So that'll join those together under the smoothing mesh. All right, so if we tab into edit mode, this is what we can see. So let's go up to the top view. And let me turn off the subdivision surface in the 3D view here. Actually, you know, we could take the uh, viewport levels down to two as well. We don't need them that high at four while we're working. So now I'll take, say, this vertex right here, and I'll go to the quad view, Control Alt Q, and let's uh, try and get this area here. It looks to me like it's a little low. Let me uh, press Alt-Z for x-ray. Yeah, let me uh, take these here. And let's just move these up just a little bit like this. There we go. I guess I don't need that one to come up quite so much. There we go. I just moved them up just a little. Now I'm going to take this point and begin extruding along here. So if we hit E and pull out to here, let's say, Maybe move that in a bit. Then I'll hit E and go up to here. Now this is pretty far off. Let's see what it looks like if I hit E and go over to here. And then E and bring it together like that. So this one looks like I could move it a bit. Let me do that. I'm going to bring it in like this. There we go. All right, so we've got that general shape there of the interior or the cab. We could go ahead and connect these up. I'll just take these here, hit the F key, take these two and hit the F key again, and there we go. So we've got those connected now. So if I look at it from the side view, I can see it looks a little warped here. So let's uh, just do a little bit of adjusting, and we're always gonna have to do this, as we've said, just a little bit here and there. Okay. Then what let's do is let's work on the line of the car right along here, from back here on the inside of that fender all the way up to here. And I think I want to take this from this point here. Let's take a look at this. I want to press Control-Alt-Q again. And what should be the line that we're going to take to the back of that fender? So. I'm kind of thinking it should be here that we take this 
back. So this point all the way back to here, like this. And then it's going to bulge out just a bit here. You can see that here. All right, so let's give that a try. Control Alt Q. And let's go to the side view. And I'll just, with that point selected, I'll hit E and let's go all the way down to say right about here. You can see how it's indented here in the back. So maybe all the way into here, like that. It looks pretty deep there. All right, so now let's in the top view move this over so it's in place here, like that. And now let's start adding some points with Control R and click. And then I'll hit G and move this up maybe to about here. And then let's hit Control R and let's move this one to about here, let's say. Control R. And let's move this up to here. Maybe we'll put one more in here. All right. Now, that looks pretty good. I'm going to move these back like this. These look like they could move out just a bit like this. Now, can we connect these up? Let's go over to here and I'll select these four here and hit the F key. And then I'll select these two and hit the F key as well, like this. Now, did that hook up in the right way? It did not. I don't like how that hooked up here. So I'm going to press Control Z just to undo that. Now I think we could go ahead and add an edge in here. All right, let's uh, press Control Alt Q, turn on our subdivisions over here. Let's tab into object mode. And remember, we're going to get pulling around here at the end of anything that's subdivided like that, and that's okay. But yeah, I think that's pretty good in terms of this area back here. We may be able to do a little bit of adjusting here, maybe bring that up a bit. But it actually looks pretty good. Okay. All right, so now has this given me any creative spark to work on this area here? Well. <laughs> Not really, <laughs> but I think we can. What I think we'll do in the next video is take, say, this area from here to here and duplicate it and move it out along the center line here and then curve it down around in front here. So in the next video, let's give that a try and see if we've made any breakthroughs. So that's coming up next.